Hi, good morning. If you're joining me live, this is episode 356 of Create, Share, Inspire podcast. I know I've gone a little bit uh, late this morning and then a little earlier than expected. And I did hear in our Facebook group, Create, Share, Inspire with Kristen Omdahl, that some people didn't even get notifications this morning. So we'll wait a couple minutes here and see if and when people are joining us. If you're joining me live, please say hello. Hi, Janet and Joe, Joanna, Lisa, Melissa, Sherry. Good morning, everybody, and thanks for joining me live. Good morning, Pamela. Glad you could be here. Hi, Danielle. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for joining live, you guys, and thanks for your patience. You know, on Fridays, my timing gets a little crazy. Hi, Edna and Stacy, Nikki and Judy. Oh, my favorite emojis. <laughs> Judy put up the yarn ball, the mermaid, and the dolphin. Wow, that's a, tr that's a triple whammy there. <laughs> Maria did get her uh, notification this morning. Wonderful. Hi, Sherry. Thanks for joining live. Good morning, Kimberly from New York. Hi, Edna. All right, we've got quite a few people here so far. That's great. Good morning and welcome to Create, Share, Inspire podcast. This is episode 356 and we are in Fort Myers in a very beautiful corner of a parking lot. Uh, I love that I can find cute spots even when I'm somewhere that you wouldn't necessarily think is cute. And just before we went live, I saw one of those white birds. Can you see the white birds? over there not the ducks in the water but the white beautiful crane kind of birds one of them was walking right here like super close and had a fish in its mouth the fish was about this big so bigger than his beak and mouth and i was just had my hands full with stuff and just couldn't capture it on camera couldn't uh get to it fast enough and couldn't get to pushing the live button fast enough to show you, but gosh, if we could see something like that again, that would be so fun. Uh, Pamela saw a flock of those birds yesterday. Oh, cool. Yeah, so exciting. So, oh, I have an update about my backyard too. I know some people were concerned that uh, the funny sounds at the beginning of Create uh, create Zen with Kristen video 007. Uh, some people were concerned that it was a distressed animal or a dying animal and not true. Uh, and I have also come to discover that it wasn't a palm rat either, although I did see a palm rat and you may have seen it at some point in the video. That weird sound we were hearing, we think, because a friend of mine came over last night and we sat out there for sunset and we went and investigated a little bit. We think it was baby birds. And so they were crying for mom. And then when mom came back with food, the sound stopped. So it was a nest of little baby birds crying for food, which I, and who knows what kind of birds they were. I'm sure every baby bird sounds different, just like every bird has a different calling. So who knows? But uh, if you get a chance and want to go back and re-listen to it now, sometimes it's all about your um, state of mind and your point of view. So now that you know it's not a distress call, you might enjoy it a little more and might even be able to pick up on the nuances of that it sounds like babies crying for mommy. And crying is crying, right? So when you hear a cry, you can either go, oh, dying in distress or baby hungry. Um, so I think it'll be interesting to listen to it again and discover that, oh my gosh, you're right. It, was, it sounded weird, but it wasn't as bad as we took it. And then uh, I've also got um, several people commented yesterday about the beautiful bird noise noises at the end of the video. And I've had several people say they think they were mockingbirds. And um, I still don't know for sure, but uh, if anybody is interested, that has been the general consensus. I think one person might have said an Oriole, one person said a Cardinal, but the, but the majority of the comments that I received were that they are mockingbirds and mockingbirds that are making a mating call. So there was a mockingbird or two looking for a mate and uh, that's so cute. Hi, jo oh, Joe says it was mockingbirds. Yeah, so from what I've heard, it was mockingbirds doing a mating call in my 
God, was that beautiful. Yeah. Uh, it was, and didn't hear them last night, but that's okay. Good morning, Vera. Thanks for joining live. Occasionally, I hear coyotes out there too. So uh, maybe one of these days, I'll get to share the coyotes with you as well. There's a state park beach close by and has a lot of, you know, foresty woods kind of area. And I'm guessing that's where they live because some nights I do hear um, coyotes as well. See. Hi Chantel, thanks for joining live. Vera's getting her order today, yay! How exciting. Everybody loves getting yarn in the mail, right? So exciting. I did bring some of my colors of Be So Fine Bling and Be So Sporty Bling if anybody wants to see any of them live again. And I have a new product to share with everybody today. Very excited to show you this. And just like I've been doing with other products, like when I come up with a new color of yarn, I put the listing on in my shirt. Ooh, ooh. I'm so afraid of seeing an alligator next to my feet that I was freaked out because I heard these guys. Good morning, guys. Hi. How you doing? You know, unfortunately, there's always a possibility that there's an alligator in this water or a snake. And so when I'm paying attention to the camera and then all of a sudden hear activity next to me, I have to... I have to worry, I don't have to worry, I worry that it's oh, an alligator. Oh gosh, all the birds are coming to say hi now. Look at this. Look at these. Hi everybody. They probably think I'm going to feed them. Sorry guys, I don't have food. I don't have food, but good morning. Hi. Can you believe this? Look at them all coming to say hi. Hi guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's more coming from them across the water. <laughs> they must think I'm going to feed them. Oh, poor guys. No, go, go eat your fish. Go eat your fish and um, we'll watch. Well, as long as they don't bite me, I guess we'll be fine. All right, so anyway, back to what I was saying. When I'm about to launch something new, I like to put the listing up without photos on my website and then show you all the the images first so that you have the ability to buy things before anyone else does and I just think it's fun that way um, and just fun to get a sneak peek and uh, I like giving you guys that heads up on things so the next product that has been listed in my shop but without photos well as long as they're not gonna bite me I guess we're good the ducks don't look very happy <laughs> They're kind of mad. Oh. Uh, anyway, okay, so I wanted to show you the Be So Sweet crochet hook set. So the set comes with eight sizes, starting with two and a half millimeter, three millimeter, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, and six. And they have these gorgeous tops on them that look a lot like my uh, shawl pins and they're candy coated color candy colored and color coded for the size so each size that comes in its own um so each color comes in its own size so the six millimeter is always going to be that beautiful blue the five and a half millimeter is yellow the five millimeter is pink the four and a half millimeter is turquoise and pe and you know and so on and so on and yeah they look like a shawl pin they look exactly like my wooden shawl pins pens they look like my uh gel pen set too you're absolutely right and so what i and so i have a backstory to it so the whole set you can get all eight hooks for 12.99 and i sell the whole set in this plastic case so you'll get the whole thing for 12.99 and um and you guys are the first to see it what I wanted to say about it is the hook. Some people are in, like to know what kind of hook it is. This, I believe, is that hybrid hook what I talk about sometimes. It's halfway between a Susan Bates and a boy-shaped hook, which is more like a tulip-shaped hook. And so it's like a medium size there. And when I was, I've been doing a lot of research and looking at a lot of manufacturers for coming up with hooks. and 
I think that I've given you all a disservice over the years in every time someone asking me what kind of a hook I use and me explaining what I use based on speed because I've always answered the question from a standpoint of being um, a person that works in the yarn industry. And so for me, when I tell you about the tools of my trade, I talk about what I wanna use to be fast, because time is money, right? And so over the course of the last 18 months, I've spent so much time in hospitals and hospice houses and waiting rooms and trying to keep my mind off of whatever's bothering me. And so I've worked a lot on Zen projects and like you all have, and I have talked about, and we've designed these Zen projects so that we could take a break from life and just be sweet to ourselves and give ourselves a little extra TLC. And so I thought it doesn't matter how fast they are, it matters how much joy they bring you. And so I'm not as, these don't make me the fastest crocheter in the world, but they make me slow down and enjoy how cute they are and enjoy the process of making Zen projects. So, and isn't that what it's about? <laughs> and it just, as I, when I discovered these, it made me think of my grandfather who's been passed away for many years now. Uh, he was, gosh, he was one of the most important people in my life for most of my childhood. And he, he used to always say, Chrissy, don't forget to stop and smell the roses. And it was one of his biggest lines that he always would say. And I thought of him when I saw these and I was like, yes, this is something that I can uh, take a few minutes out for me, pick up a pretty color and a pretty design and go sit somewhere and be sweet to myself and take some time to just enjoy a Zen project. So that's why I came up with these and I hope that they bring you that kind of joy as well and I hope they remind you to stop and smell the roses and just go enjoy a little of the slow movement process of just making something and relaxing. So. I, that's why I came up with them. They're called Be So Sweet Crochet Hooks. And you can get all eight sizes in the kit for $12.99 and they're available on my website already right now. There is no photo there yet because I'm offering them to you first and then they'll get announced either later today or tomorrow or something like that. Oh, I love the fancy part at the top too. Absolutely, so super cute. And I thought I'd crochet with them in a minute so I can show you that and oh also i in the listing i tell you how long they are and all that stuff too now other people sell them too debbie you know and the price that you can get from different people depends on how many that they order and if you want to order them somewhere else that's your prerogative you know ordering from my brand means that you support my charity and a portion of every sale of all of my projects is donated to project Kristen cares but if you're looking for the bottom line, there's something for everybody on the internet. We all know that. Thank you, Sherry. I'm so glad my patterns are therapy for you. That makes me feel so good. Thank you. All right. Does anybody want to... Uh, yes, Maria. That's exactly how I'm going to photograph them. I'm going to photograph them in a crystal glass because I thought setting them up in a glass and looking like a bouquet of flowers was going to be so cute. Absolutely. All right, so would anybody like to see colors of yarn next? I brought some with me. I have some of the, uh, I have some of the blings with me. This is Sunrise 06. I still have a few left in stock. And I have, uh, yeah, I said Sunrise, right? Yes, yeah, Sunrise 06, and then I have Sunset 01. And um, I don't have much left, but I have a little bit left of Shishugi Ban in, I have a little bit of Shishugi Ban left in uh, Be So Fine and Be So Sporty Bling. But quantities are limited. They are going pretty quickly. And then I have Starry Night. Ah, they're starting to untwist. And 
You know what, I have other colors in stock too. I just happen to have these in a bag with me this morning. So this is uh, Waters Run Deep and Be So Fine and Be So Sporty Bling. And bling means that they have that thread of silver plied right into them. Uh, Lisa bought some last week. Awesome, hopefully they've already arrived and you love them. Oh, the new, there will be, hi, Emma Linda. Here is Starry Nights in both Be So Fine and Be So Sporty Bling. So then I have an update. I don't have an official word yet on my trip next week, so I can't tell you yet officially where I'm going, but um, I did put together my outfits yesterday. That was a feat. I need to bring a minimum of six on-camera outfits for the trip, so I put together 10 to make sure that the colors all work with everything else going on. And I went shopping yesterday because I'm going somewhere cold and I wanted to make sure that I had shoes. Which of the sun, which of the sunset has a little sand in it? Um, that, there's only one sunset color and that's Sunset 01 and it does have gold and bronze in it. And this has gold and bronze. And I can open it up so you can see it a little better. Joanna wants to see my outfits. Yes, I will. So obviously I like to wear things with knit and crochet. So I'll be wearing stuff from the layers books. And I think I'm gonna bring two pieces from, I'll show you, I can show you in Motif Magic. I'm pretty sure I brought two pieces from Motif Magic. Yeah, I'm gonna bring the Mary shawl. I'm gonna bring the Mary shawl with to wear with a hot pink blouse. I think that might be pretty. Look like a watermelon. <laughs> and um, what other one did I grab? I'm bringing the Marissa shawl. I don't, I brought a couple of blouses that I think that might work with. And I'll bring a couple of shawl pins and maybe wear one or the other of those. And then I brought a whole bunch of pieces from Layers Knit and Crochet that have been released already. And what else? Oh, I wanted to tell you. Uh, thanks, Joe. Thanks, Lisa. Um, what else was I going to say? Hmm. I think I want to make some more earrings for the trip. I've got my uh, Kelly earrings in white and in the bling colorway. I'm thinking about maybe making another pair. I'd like to make a pair maybe in gold Be So Dazzling yarn by itself. I thought that might be really cool just to have an all gold earring and that might work well for all the outfits then to just wear gold uh, or silver. I could do gold or silver. So I'm thinking about making one more pair of these for the, the trip because that way I think I could keep them on for all the outfits. I think that makes sense, right? And then the colors wouldn't clash, but it would still be metallic and all that good stuff uh what else what else oh i was talking about shoes so i realized i don't have any shoes for cold weather uh and so i went shopping for shoes yesterday couldn't find anything i like and came home and remembered that i bought a pair of boots for the trip that i when i went to see martha stewart several years ago i still have those boots in my closet I'm pretty sure, hope to God, they're still there. Because if so, then I just have to buy a pair of socks. Because I actually don't own socks either. So uh, after the podcast this morning, and before I finish helping my friend, I'm going to go look for wool socks uh, in the store. I'm going to try Marshalls first. And, um, and hoping that that works out. Any, if I don't find them, then I guess cotton it will be. <laughs> yeah tropical problems right Stacy just ordered some of my yarns wonderful thank you so much Ooh, Susie just made some spicy nuts for her knitting group wonderful yes going somewhere cold next week Joanna I leave Tuesday and I'll be back Friday and as soon as I get word from the people that I'm going to see I will be able to share with you exactly where I'm going and I want to get some um, guidelines from them on what I can share with you while I'm there too. I will at least 
do live streams from my hotel and anywhere I go outside of the workspace, but if they will let me, I will bring you uh, in behind the scenes of everywhere I go. So that could be really fun for all of you. Uh, I just have to make sure that I get permission to do all that first, but very excited. Yeah, I'm gonna take you along as much as I can, Maria. Just have to make sure that I get, uh, find out what the rules are first of what I'm allowed to share and what I'm not allowed to share. But I asked yesterday specifically for rules, so hopefully I'll find out later today and then I can let you go on Monday, let you know on Monday. Um, yeah, Lydia, you're gonna come with me for sure. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna, I'll still live stream the whole trip. It just will depend on where, where I live stream. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be really great if I could show you behind the scenes stuff while I'm there. Hopefully the weather's not too cold and I don't see a whole lot of snow, but a little bit wouldn't be bad. You know I'm gonna bring my Michigan Parker with me. <laughs> Thank you, Stacy. I forget what that blue thing is called, but she made a donation of $1.99. Thank you very much. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I think I, I think I blew it last night. I have a friend who's in Ohio and told her that I would be in Cleveland. So I think I, I, think I wrote that on my professional page instead of my personal page on uh, Facebook last night. So I think I gave away that secret already. Yes, I'll be going to Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> Do I have a Florida accent now? Super chat, that's what it's called. Yes, Debbie, you know it. The, the best part about Super Chat is that it makes the comments stay longer and I have the ability to see it longer. It's much easier to read that way too. Yes, thank you, Kimberly, Super Chat. Thank you, Stacy. really awesome, thank you. I appreciate it very much. I don't know if there's such a thing as a Florida accent. accent. I, I probably, I'm sure there is, but my accent was probably more Midwest. I'm from Michigan. And I hear people say that I still sound like a Michigander. So I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I have a combination now. Who knows? Does anybody have any other questions? And a bird fall went away. Yeah, not New Jersey. No, it will be in, uh, yeah, I'll show you the hooks again. I didn't do a demo with them, but it might be hard to do standing up. We'll do a demo next time. Yeah, but here are the Biso Sweet Crochet Hooks. You can get all eight hooks for $12.99. And uh, they're available on my website now without a photo because I was showing them to you guys first. There'll be a photo on it later, but if you feel comfortable ordering it without a photo, I do that so that you guys have the ability to check it out first. And so they will be shipping today. They're all in stock and you can order them today. Lisa's excited and she's gonna order them. Awesome, thank you so much. Yes, Joanna, I think I have more of a Northern than a Southern accent, I do. But I've been here 11 years now, so some sort of a hybrid, I would imagine. <laughs> uh, yeah, there is a Florida accent with people that live that have lived here a long time, absolutely. Not quite as heavy as a Georgia or Louisiana or Mississippi or Alabama accent, but definitely there is a Florida accent too, and it is Southern, definitely. Yay, Janet already ordered the hooks. Thank you so much. Do I do anything for foster kids? Uh, no, I have not looked in, I've thought about I remember after I watched The Blind Side, I thought about um, fostering kids and I've thought about fostering animals before too, but I, it just hasn't been um, something that I felt like I could do a good job of at, so far in my life. It doesn't mean that I wouldn't be open to doing it somewhere some other time. Marlon's good, Edna, thanks. He's in a tournament this weekend. All right, well, it doesn't look like anyone has any other questions this morning, and my phone seems to be blowing up. There are people that need me this morning for some reason, so 
we're going to cut it short today. Sorry about that, but thank you all so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend a few minutes here with me. I hope you enjoyed chatting with me and everyone else here today. Uh, hope you enjoyed seeing the new crochet hooks be so sweet and the yarns that are still have little quantities left but are still available and hearing about the little bit of little extra sneak peeks about my trip so now i've shared the clue that it's cleveland so that i'm sure that opens up more guesses and if you have more guesses please leave them for me in the comments because i love hearing your thoughts and hopefully by monday i will be able to tell you officially where i'm going on tuesday thanks so much everybody have a great weekend